力。啊，好家伙！哎，我的胃里。呀呀呀呀呀呀！往这喂，往这喂，往这喂。那 speeding 呢？给给给给 ，see you， 拜拜。OK， see you， 拜拜。Welcome guys. This is Nosham Musaini from Melbourne. I'm just uh, meeting up with my friends, two friends from Singapore. They are a bit late uh, today. Hey Sham, sorry, 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 sorry. I follow Malay timing. Uh, that's why I late. I say, bro. Sorry, Sham. Sorry, sorry. Late ah. Uh, eh? Just sit also here. Nice. <coughs> okay, they are here already. Okay, guys, introduce yourself. Hi, everything. My name is Yasin. I am from Singapore, and I am the self-proclaimed world champion at eating fried chicken. Okay, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm Ideal from Muhammad Ideal from Singapore. Uh, staying at a good old neighborhood of uh, Queenstown, uh, to be exact, Queens Close. Okay, what are we doing today? Huh? Q and A. Yeah? Okay, 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 okay. Let's go on with it while we cycle. Wait, ah. Huh? When you started cycling? 10 years ago, 20 years ago. And what was your first bike? Mine was a BMX, uh, this crappy BMX. Ooh, BMX, Nasham, eh? Influenced by the movie, 80s movie, uh, the E.T. phone home. When did I first pick up cycling? I think I was probably five or six years old. I think for the most of us, we started cycling around that age, lah, right? My mom got me this uh, crappy BMX with trainer wheel. That is my first memory of ever cycling, lah. But if you were to ask me when I first picked up cycling properly, then it would be some time between 2007 or 2008 around that time it's also when i first heard of local groups like fix Patricks and also the sf based mesh sf once i learned more about what these guys were riding right then i only had one thing i wanted to ride if i were to buy a bicycle it had to be a fixie Yes, I said fixie, fixie, fixed gear, same, same lah. Huh? So around mid 2008, I think, then I got my first fixed gear bike. Uh, fucking crappy Vanguard design or something. Fucking crappy bike. And that was my first bike lah. I see, I see. So I did. What was your first bike, man? Don't tell me BMX, so. My first bike, I think will be same like Yasin. Uh. I got it for my birthday present uh, by my dad. I don't know which year was that. But it was a black cruiser. Uh, and the interesting thing is that got this uh, electronic box on the front which is uh, supposedly to be the horn and you press on to the button 
and then the lights will come out and then the song will blare to some ubbing music uh. something like that if I remember correctly and the serious note of cycling uh, I'll probably hop back on onto cycling after giving up a little bit of uh, soccer, football and also running and I stumbled upon CAS uh, Clank Arm Steady Singapore uh, staring the streets in their fixie yes I also can say fixie uh, yes, in. Uh, and of course I got myself a fixed gear bike which is a marine Dominican I think uh, it's a white frame steel frame and uh, with some funky red wheels red rims very very fixy yeah. and then sadly got recruited or uh, got bike hunted by uh, Kayu Kuat Kuat guys uh, after following them for their uh, pedal for course rides once and twice so from there on it got seriously not serious uh. oh yeah bike, bike packing bike touring and how was your experience and uh, how do you prepare yourself for this rubbish so tell me about your experience. Shitty, cold, especially when you are seeing your your try to cycle from Masjid Jakarta to Bandung or something like that. And Mr. Idil, just tell us your experience, ah. Huh? You've been bike touring maybe like a few times with Kai Bakwat. How was that? Hey, Hisham, please, uh, please don't remind me of that Jakarta and Bandung trip, man. That trip was really a mistake. Apart from Kairi and Zul Jureni, right? I think the rest of us didn't even train. Like myself, Ustaz Haider, Shamim. We all thought it's just going to be a walk in the park. We didn't train for it, we didn't prepare for it. We just anyhow go on it. Biggest mistake in my life, man. I think the distance that we calculated was probably about 160. And we planned to finish the whole ride within a day. Damn it. Biggest mistake. You can ask Kai and Zul Jureni and everyone else. It's demoralizing, man. It's really demoralizing. But I'm actually glad that I did the Jakarta Bandung ride. Because the experience has taught me that in order for me to do a long ride, right, I really need to train and prepare myself. Lah. And now that I am planning to do uh, bikepacking slash touring, right, all the more that I need to train and prepare. Lah. Trying to get 100 kilometers in here and there and riding long distance. Lah. So that's my preparation. Jakarta Bandung eh Yasin and the boys Okay on this bike packing nonsense shit right I think like it's not suffering enough carrying all the baggages and camp stuffs camping stuffs you have to do it on fixed gear lah then uh why Ashama ah, why ah? Got gears, what? Huh? And every time when we do bike camping, right? It has to rain. It's, why can it just be cloudy, windy, nice wind, sepoi sepoi punya angin? Huh? It rain. Then hot, bloody hot, then rain, bloody cold, anti flooded.
I think when it comes to preparation, right? One word. Mentally. Yeah, that's the only preparation you have to do. Uh. So forget about the food, the spare tubes, uh, the tent, whatever. Right? All those you forget. Uh, your good old buddies in that group of a backpackers should be able to support. Uh. But mentally, correct? You're on your own. Uh. Especially when you rely on your friends, your bikepacking buddies who prepare the route, right? Or route, whatever you call it. Uh. Without even understanding the elevation. <laughs> Why a sham? Is it mana? Is it mak? Kena tolak lagi lah baru ada nasi lemak Tak apa, tak apa Kau rasa? We are at the top of the hill right? Yang the... Look for like it one Good job lah guys I don't know how you... Park lah Why Syam? Huh? Boy Boyan? Why you like that? But then that's the interesting part of it lah. The interesting part of bike packing, which is, I think, the uncertainty uh, and how you react to it mentally. Cheba. <laughs> see, I see, I see. And then, uh, guys, uh, you do have, you have like unlimited budget, right? What's the bike, the perfect bike build that you wanna get? Carbon, steel, titanium, the new Diverge, Salsa, VT. Which one, which one guys? If I have unlimited budget to build a dream bike, I think I will build a crushed bike Bombora or a crushed bike uh, lightning bolt can feel liver version both bikes will run on full white industries components but if i buy the crush bikes dining bolt can feel liver version right ah uh, that one full on pole because i want to use the pole can feel pole brake levers everything pole lah but having said that I think my ultimate dream bike would actually to assemble a Franken built bicycle if I can find an old school MTB frame like a Diamondback or a Kona or a Mongoose right and go crazy with the components like Randfall or White Industries or Fieldwood that would be my dream bike very alternative bro very alternative Fuh, Yasin, ganas lah all components Ooh, yo if I'm given the money in the whole world say in the whole world eh, hmm, probably I don't invest on just one bike eh. there's just too many nice bikes uh, right now especially in the travel scene uh, but I will go for those indie brands. So, well, of course, my Rodeo Labs will be one of it. Check my Rodeo Labs. Eh. Probably like brands, uh, Airlight, or Squid, or Crass. Uh, Yasin also choose Crass. Power lah. But I heard the shipping expensive lah. Yeah, man. Crush bikes are damn nice, but the shipping is nine hundred dollars, guys. 
then uh, of course the well-known ones who has already been in the bikepacking scene uh, long enough will be like Salsa and Soma you see, you see? see that Wolverine them beautiful are they well, like that like I need to park aside some of the money for a bike garage here yeah. to handle like that But all these bikes, most importantly, they have, they have something unique about it. Be it the frame, shape, or design, or the fork. Best if it's luck. I love the luck frames. So the last question. Where, where do you guys want to go bike packing? Or bike touring where you want to go desert Sahara desert or anywhere dream bike trip hmm. dream bike trip I would have to say New Zealand lah. I love the country and I know for certain that I will enjoy myself if I were to cycle there lah doesn't matter bike packing or touring or whatever I know I will enjoy myself as much as I believe uh, the location of where you do your bike packing or your touring trip is important I believe what's equally important or even more important is the people who accompany you on the trip lah. if the people you go with uh, all different frequency one confirm the trip boring New Zealand You want to cycle the old ghost road is it? Anyway Mr. Aydin where, where you want to go for your next bike packing trip? Hmm, my dream bike trip I think maybe somewhere there is a bit of snow I think I have enough with rain and sunshine So Snow will be a good experience To cycle in but of course at the side of the road has to be with uh, warung lah eh? nak makan pun senang cafe on the left and right of it snow you want snow but you want warung and cafe ok lah ok lah try time for you lah Mr. Aidil Of course, the campsite it has to be in an open ground. Uh, when I can snore through the stars during the night, I'm just dreamy enough. If there's a place like that, tell me. Uh. But I think New Zealand also sounds nice, huh? Eh? Australia too near, really, uh, Chum. We go for the. I suggest uh, you all change your group name from Kayo Kuat Kuat which is very aggressive you all change to Kayo Plan Plan or Plan Plan Kayo how? more fitting for our age right? ok lah I change the name to Kayo Plan Plan for you lah just for you lah Mr Yasin. we are also never Kayo Kayo also not that quiet. Kayo Plan Plan eh very weak like that uh. <laughs> uh, we've never been abiding to our group name Kayo Kuat Kuat the most kuat stuff that we did is all those backpacking in fixed gear but I think changing the name to Kayo Kuat Lepak pun ok uh, eh. see lah cycle a bit kena hill kena the little England now lepak already here Hey Adil, let's go ah. You wanna sit down there for so long for what? Let's go man Okay, thank you very much Yasin and Adil, bye Take care Okay lah Sam and Adil It was nice talking to you guys 
right now I need to go to Simpang to buy my food for Shahur. Uh, you guys take care lah. Alright, bye bye guys. Okay, okay, Jam. Thanks for inviting. Eh. Uh, need to go and find my nasi lemak already. Eh. And of course, stay tarif. Okay, Yasin, take care, stay safe, stay funky. Bye bye. And thank you for watching this so called vlog. Back home. See you guys for the next one, okay? Bye bye.